Hi. Um, I'm going to upload a channel intro later, but we're going to get right into it. Um, this is going to be like a one take video. I'm going to talk about uh, Kaya from Genshin Impact and how the fandom treats him. Because it's, it's awkward. Okay. So I'm going to start off by talking about the over-sexualization of Kaya. Uh, what I mean by this is that, you know, everybody in Genshin, you know, people simp for the adult characters, sometimes teenage characters, and then very rarely, in the worst case scenario, the child characters, but, you know. Um, like I was saying, like, they simple for adult characters, you know, it's pretty normal. I mean, hey, you might look at a child and be like, oh my god, I want him to rail me. He's so fine. I know he's big, bro. I know it's big. I just know it's big. Uh, you know, that's fine. But with Kaya, I feel like, you know, people simp over him. But that's really all they do. They don't really look into his character and, you know, appreciate him for his, like, skills and whatnot. They just kind of, like, see him as, like, a sex god, you know. For example, like, we can talk about D-Luke. Like, D-Luke, there's plenty of D-Luke stands out there. And, uh, you know, they sent for him. And, uh, you know, but they also, you know, talk about his character. And yeah, talk about, you know, his personality and his skills. They talk about, they rave about, rave, they rave about how cool his, like, story is and whatnot. But Kaya, I just, I don't see it. My people just really just mention that, ooh, he's hot. He's attractive. He's so fine. And then that's pretty much all they say about him. Which I'm like, okay, you know, Kaya is more than just, you know, the most attractive man in Genshin. I'm sorry, I'm a little biased, but you know, like, he's more than the most attractive man in Genshin. Ka Kaya is very smart. Probably one of the smartest characters in the game. Like, he's, like, so good at, like, receiving informa information in, like, various ways. He's very charismatic and charming and uses that to his advantage. And, you know, he has a, a quite an interesting backstory. And we just, we still don't know a lot about him, you know? There's so much, there's so much speculation around his character that you can make. He's a very complex and very enigmatic character. Very interesting, very, very, very interesting character. And yet, you know, people just always reduce him to, oh my God, look at his titties, bro. He's so fine. Oh my God. Like, I feel like with him, I feel like because he is not because how do i how do i word this we shouldn't do that to kaya because he is one of two dark skin characters in the entirety of genshin impact's character lineup the other person being Shinyan from liwe um and you know you know over sexualizing kaya kind of plays into you know the over sexualization of dark skin people in society whether it be in uh media or in real life i'm going to kind of digress from kaya right now to give you an example of that a couple examples um my black girls would know what i'm talking about when i say this but you know you know when you ask your mom for a hairstyle or some clothes and she would tell you no because you're gonna look too grown too grown i'm a little girl what is too grown me i'm trying to get my hair pressed out am i gonna look like a freaking sex object to people i'm i'm a little girl like, a white girl can probably have the same hairstyle as me, and, you know, she's fine, but when I get it, I'm too grown? Weird. And then, another example I can think of, just with, like, this, you know, lighter-skinned people are seen as more, you know, fragile, innocent, you know, they need to be protected, you know, they're so delicate. But then, darker-skinned people are, like, seen as exotic, dangerous, wild, sexy, you know? Like... It's just, you see it, you just see it all the time in society and media. And, you know, especially in Genshin Impact, where, you know, the freaking English voice lines already don't do Kaya that much justice. I mean, where it says in his character description, saying that he's exotic looking. Yeah, okay. And then when Paimon says, I think Kaya's pale under his eye patch, like, come on. I mean, the game is already, like, slipping up when it comes to, you know, respecting 
it's representation, I guess. But yeah, going back to Kaya, like, you know, I feel like a lot of that hyper hyper sexualization of dark skinned people really plays into, you know, people always like just seeing him as like, you know, sexy Kaya rather than sexy, but also very smart and cunning Kaya. Very, very, just very intelligent, very skilled, you know. And I feel like with the community, we need to be better with doing that. You know, we need to be better with like saying certain things about certain characters, you know. Like we need to be more respectful towards like the representation, the cultures that are in, you know, Genshin Impact because, you know, like we really need to respect especially the dark skin characters because we don't have that many of them. We only have two of them so far out of the entire cast. So like you just gotta you you gotta really just internalize what you're about to say before you say it, you know? And another thing, like people like to call Kaya a himbo because he's attractive. But the thing is, the definition of a himbo, the best I can give you, is a big, burly, strong man, big muscles. But he's like nice, kind, you know? He's a little airheaded. He's he's kind, you know, that's the whole thing. They're big, muscly, they look scary, but they're actually kind people, you know. They're very, you know, they're very dumb and lovable. And the thing of Kaya is that he is neither a big, hulking, strong man or dumb. Like, I feel like, you know, when people say that, it still goes back to, like, the whole, like, mistreatment of dark-skinned people and how, you know, darker-skinned people are seen as more dumb, you know, compared to lighter-skinned people, like I said. Like I keep saying, you know, like it just plays into that. Like we just really have to, we have to watch what we say. To, we have to, we have to watch what we say because you, people are like inadvertently like saying stereotypes and just making ignorant comments. Like we, we really need to work on that, you know. But uh, I really didn't know what else I was going to talk about in this video. Oh, no, actually, no. Okay. Now let's talk about the whitewashing that happens. I don't know what's up with the Genshin community and why they just don't want to admit, not Genshin community, but Genshin art community. I don't know why some of them don't want to admit that Kaya has dark skin. Um, If I see another whitewashed Kaya art piece, guys, I'm going to lose it. Like the team designed him to have dark skin. I don't know why you're trying to erase it. I don't know if you think he's ugly because he has dark skin, which, okay, I must be the ugliest person alive then. All right. But we have to, we have to start whitewashing people. Like, Kaya is beautiful with his skin tone. I need y'all to stop changing his skin tone. Y'all need to stop making him Kyle. He's Kaya, bro. And my Twitter mutual actually explained the, what his name, like, the, etymology of his name which is like i think it's a hindu i don't remember but it's in it's like a in the india region it's, it's like a name that means like like monsoon or something and it kind of reflects on how he was like picked up by diluc's dad during like a summer rainstorm you know but like he has a name of like freaking indian origin bro like He's not white, okay? I promise you he's not white. He's a whole Blasian man, bro. Come on. I just... Like, why do y'all just hate dark-skinned people so much? Explain it, bro. Like, I need y'all to just... Stop whitewashing him. Stop whitewashing Xinyan, bro. Like, respect the skin color that they were designed with. Because when you do that, when you change the skin tone, when you whitewash them... Basically, just give me a whole big middle finger to people who are dark skinned like me. Like, come on. It's it's really disgusting to see. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? God, okay. Let's talk about the racially charged jokes that people think are funny on TikTok. Okay. Um, if you are white, let me give you some context. Okay, so 
a, I think a couple of months ago, I made some art of the Genshin men in do rags because I can do that because I'm a black woman whose uh, culture has do rags in it, which I'm allowed to, you know, make jokes about, wear, draw on other characters, you know, to try to reclaim, you know, just, yeah, I can do it. I can do that. And so I posted on TikTok, which is my greatest mistake because, you know, people on TikTok are just really bold and think anything, they can just say anything to people, you know what I'm saying? And I got a comment that was like, well, somebody else tagged their friend and their friend came into my video and said, they look like they eat Popeyes out in the park, LOL. Now, by now you should be putting two and two together. Um, when you go into a comment section of a video where characters are wearing do-rags, you know, a staple part of black culture drawn by a black artist and you say they're eating Popeyes in a park, which is a racial stereotype against black people. Y'all have got to stop saying stuff, bro. Y'all got to stop saying stuff. Cause y'all be, y'all just, ooh. I don't know if that, that wasn't really like related to Kaya, but like, ooh boy. But then, okay, so today I got another comment. Not another comment on my art page, but my main page. I made a, <laughs> I made a joke video. It was, it wasn't, whatever. Um, I made a joke video. And somebody, I don't know where this comment came from, where the idea of it came from, but somebody said, I feel like Kaya would commit black on black crime. I don't know why. That is what they said on my video. With my black face showing at the beginning, they said that to me on my video. Thinking that it was like some sort of funny headcanon, which, you know, Serious issues are not as uh, headcanon, you know, serious issues that people face in real life and use against certain groups in real life. It's not a headcanon to use, especially for Genshin characters. Um, you commented this and I went, in, I went to your page and your hands was the color of my wall right here. And you're making jokes about black on black crime? From literally nowhere, like the video had not had anything to do with that. You just felt like you just were going to be funny today. And just say like racial stuff like that about Kaya. Who will say you won't do it for Shinyan too? Like. I When y'all when make jokes about Kaya, y'all really just be sounding like undercover racists. Like. Y'all be saying he's broke. I'm like, oh, hello. Y'all just be saying he's like violent. Like, oh, okay. Like, y'all really don't know how to make jokes about people of color, huh? Especially as white people. Y'all be real bold on TikTok. I don't know who's gassing you up. I don't know which one of your mutuals on Discord is gassing you up to make jokes like this, but that was not it. Like, y'all, we really have to respect jokes that we make about Kaya. We have to make respectful jokes and tasteful jokes, tactful jokes that don't, you know, contain, like, real-life issues, you know? And even if it's, like, a positive, like, thing, not positive, how do I explain this? Like, like I said, don't make jokes about real-life issues if you're not qualified to make them. Don't make jokes that that you can't make if you know you can't make them like y'all just be saying anything about kaya and don't even realize that there are freaking stereotypes and racially charged and it's like so what's to say you won't what who's to say you won't say this to a real brown or black person huh like it's it's sick y'all are sick basically i mean i've kind of digressed a little bit but like I'm trying to say in this whole entire video falsetto y'all heard that oh my god all i'm trying to say in this entire video is that y'all mistreat kaya and it's be it's most because he's dark-skinned i'm gonna say it um 
y'all just don't know how to act towards a dark skinned person and it shows we need to really do better as a community because i mean it's quickly getting toxic out here uh yeah y'all are emboldened by somebody out there i don't know who but y'all are and it's got to stop like y'all have got to think before you speak really think educate yourself i'm not gonna do it for you um y'all are too some of y'all are too old to be educated at this point and get this if you're old if you're good at memorizing resin patterns and what domains to go to and what elemental reactions are you know good and what elemental resonance is and all your achievements i'm pretty sure you can you know use a brain power to not say racially charged stuff that is negative towards genshin characters that's all i gotta say see y'all later